Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley's News, and we have part number 6 of Dali Free Energy Device. The reason we call it Free Energy is because even though that energy must come from somewhere and be utilized to usable form of the energy by conversion, it's still a form of the energy that we don't have to pay for. So for our pocket, it is free. Today we're going to be covering Ruslan, who is a replicator of Dali device. He made the device with an addition that was a plug that I called Mediator. Mediator is a, a kind of negotiator between upper impulse forming block and lower impulse forming block. And that addition he calls necessity for the device to properly tune. So Ruslan states that Dali was lucky without that plug to be able to tune the device and stability of the device was in question, although he by himself has a problem with frequency drift as well. For those new to the subject, I would like to add that there is an army of the people who is uh, trying to make those devices, especially from this schematic. And, uh, is growing and growing and growing. I have witnessed in my life twice the device working as stated in one occasion in Tbilisi, Georgia, Europe. Dario kept another house and the other was Lithuania experiment. Dali part number six. Device made by Ruslan from Latvia. Riga that is based on Dali schematic. Everybody, hello. I'm showing you my new device. I was using Dali concept. I was using nanosecond generator that is creating so much uh, damage uh, to the bridge, I assume it's a grass bridge rectifier, and to 926 transistors. Uh, in here you see stabilizer and it's multi-torn resistor to adjust the frequency as it needs to be constantly adjusted. The problem is that I broke so many of those transistors. I wanted to put it all in one box, but it was not enough space. This capacitor is the capacitor from the coil assembly where one coil is connected to the capacitor and nothing else. And that's the coaxial coil. We see those two diodes next to the transistor. And I have to adjust the frequency with the resistor. The stabilizer is 5 volts. In this box, I have a generator. Uh, 
этот самый, значит, трансформатор этот на кольце. So, in this box he has a ferrite-based transformer. This is utilizing yolk from the old TV, Russian TV bobin. In this box we have a grid bridge rectifier and two capacitors. And 5 volts stabilizer for the logic of two generators, impulse generators on the upper block. And also the switch to switch on and off the device. I had a problem with the power supply, this power supply. And the reason for that was because I disconnected power, uh, ground wire. You cannot disconnect the ground wire. The major uh, element that is dying in this power supply is uptron. I don't know what this word is, uptron. Uh, Русские ребята, пожалуйста, подскажите, что это Аптрон. Видно, прошибает через него. Не знаю, как это происходит, но... And of course we see the diode here. And that's the place where the, the first 9-volt battery is connected at first to start up the device. Происходит. Уже один спалил, и тебе амперный пришлось поставить. So, this is a second power supply. That is 5 amps. As the device doesn't use in total too much of electrical energy, it's working perfectly. And that lamp that you see here is 500 watts. And this is the switch that switches on the load. So the load is connected to those two holes of the receptacle and it's switch on off for the load. And that's my ground wire. And it's connected to the pipe, water pipe, uh, in Russia, in Poland, all of those countries. The heating system is perfectly grounded system, unlike in United States. And that's what they use for the ground. So he wants to make sure that that splice to the heater is good enough and clean enough so the power supply will not burn up. When I switch on the device, you're going to see diodes. I believe that was this one. Okay, it's on. Now I'm connecting the load and it's working right now. So there is always pattern. I've seen it in Vasmos, I see it in here. At first you start device when the load is not yet connected. Or it could be connected to the receptacle but the switch is off. There is problem with stabilization of the generator made on those two chips. That's why he needs to adjust frequency constantly.
Okay, so now we're disconnecting uh, the battery. Now, you could use 9 volt battery. You don't have to use 12 volts battery. So he disconnected the power supply and the light bulb is on. This is ground wire again. That's my device. 500 watts, and it's working. We're gonna... I gotta disconnect the device because the transistor is getting hot and soon it's gonna blow up. And he's referring... I'm gonna repeat that sentence again. And he says, uh, it's, it's only 110 volts there. Trying to uh, start the device and it's not starting. I need to connect battery again. He's connecting it. So he needs to switch off first the switch for the load and press the button start. And then connect the load with the switch. He was using 550 watts also and it was working. How it was working with Dali, I had no idea. Oh, he, he's saying that Dali might have had a lot of problem to tune the device, synchronize the device. The difference between Dali and uh, Ruslan is that Ruslan uses additional uh, block of electronics. to reach the regime at which that device will generate electric power. So you need to have a middle block that would be the matching block between the impulses. So I understand that he's talking the upper block of impulse forming circuitry and the lower block of impulse forming circuitry of Dali and he's adding the mediator or mediator in between and without that it will not work if you don't understand the theory that is behind that, it would be very difficult for you to make it work. The problem with all of you guys is that you guys are only watching and writing on a forums. You do nothing and you're never going to be able to do anything. Listen to the scientists and learn the theory of the magnetic field. Then you would know where and how to implement the impulses. And how to make that electromagnetic field would be able to circulate in that coil. That coil is empty. There's nothing inside. 
And to make it work, you need theory, you need to know theory. I'm listening to the scientists, and I understand how to make it. I was making that schematic by myself, to be honest. And I took Dali as the concept. Dali was simply lucky enough that without that mediator or mediating plug, he was able to make it work. But if he was to make the device one more time, the device would not work. So synchronization and synchronization at first. That generator you need to keeping the frequency of oscillation without drifting. And when the frequency is not hold, the system is not going to work. I'm going to come back. I have a 270 volts on the output going to the light bulb. Problem that we have with most of the guys who are trying to report this kind of events is that they are totally unprepared. The guys from the other field many times waiting just for the opportunity to grab the most of the information on the device and meet the guy who made it. I am newsman by the chance and this is not my desire. And I believe that I'm pretty much on the top of the people who are trying to report this kind of events. And I don't care about the opportunity at all. There would be more the material that would be in next video, part number seven. I believe that's pretty nice coverage of what we have from Ruslan, who replicated Dali as well. For four years in a row, I was advertising nonsense of patenting such devices as nobody would allow you guys to use it and corrupt the economy of the world. So the only way is just give it away. Спасибо большое, Руслан. Спасибо большое, Дели.